Hey, it's Katie Mae and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you all how to make the most of your children's nap time. Let's go ahead and get into today's video. So I have a feeling to most moms out there, nap time is like the holy grail of the day, or is that just me? <laughs> nap time is the sweet portion of the day after the morning madness and before the dreaded witching hour, where like all our kids seem to lose our mind and we're just like trying to hang on and make it to the end of the day. Am I right? Okay, so, I mean, it's just like nap time is precious, even if it may just be one to three hours, depending how long your kids nap. And another thing, if your kids don't nap, I would highly encourage to instill a quiet time where they go to their rooms and they have to be quiet. They read a book, catch up on schoolwork, take a nap themselves. I mean, honestly, no matter what age your child is, if they are still under your roof, mama, you got the ability to instill a quiet time, not only for their sake, because trust me, they will like you so much better after you get that quiet time, but also for your sake so that you can decompress and rejuvenate for the other half of the day. So nap time, definitely does not have to be just for your kids. If you are worn out and just exhausted and need the rest yourself, if you need a nap yourself, mama, there is no shame in that at all. Been there, done that. Most days I take a nap. I'm dealing with three little children, three and under, homeschooling. So after all that's done and said in the morning, most days, uh, yeah, your girl's taking a nap because it's hard running after three people caring for their every need. I mean, hey, we deserve a nap too. So if you want to take a nap, take a nap. Go for it. Ain't no, I mean, what's it going to do? What are you going to do? I mean, if you don't take a nap, the majority of us are going to sit up watching, binge watching Netflix anyway. So I mean, if you're really exhausted and you need a nap, go take a nap. However, realistically, most of us, most days, can't take a nap when our kids take a nap. So if you have like a really long list of things that you need to get done, this would be the perfect time to take like a B12 energy supplement or choose to drink that second or 15th cup of coffee and get that energy boost to get some stuff done before your quiet time is over and your kids are up and demanding everything every two minutes. Choose this time to be productive, get stuff done, and that way the last half of your day is much easier as well. Or you can use it as me time. I don't know about y'all, but with three babies always latching onto me and always wanting me every moment of the day, me time is very needed. So use this time to do whatever it is you need or want or need, you know, what you need to do. If it's to go and take a bubble bath, go and take a bubble bath and relax. If you want to binge watch that show on Netflix, go for it. If you want to read a book, go for it. Or if you're like me and just kind of really a type A sort of personality and like if your house is not in order and it just absolutely bugs crap of you and you like cleaning in peace and quiet, use that time to as a therapeutic cleaning session and get your house back together so you can get you back together so you'll be ready for the rest of the day. But the last thing that I want to leave with you to make nap time the most beneficial it can possibly be is to pick what is going to be the most beneficial for you. Don't necessarily choose what needs to be done. Nap time is meant for us mamas to be a time of recharging, not a time of increased pressure like there's a countdown up on the wall and you've got this many hours to get everything done. No, don't do that. <laughs> when your kids are up and going crazy and everything, you can get stuff done then because you're already stressed out. Use this quiet time as a time to get things done that will benefit you. Like I said earlier, if that's a nap, if that's reading a book, if that's watching TV, if that's taking a bubble bath, 
deep cleaning your house, whatever it is you need to do to get yourself at peace, your mind in orders, your thoughts not jumbled everywhere, and to be in a good place for the afternoon when your husband comes on, com comes on, comes on, comes home. <laughs> Gosh, my accent's coming out there. <laughs> do whatever you need to do to get there. Don't worry about what needs to be done. Trust me, you had the morning time, you got the afternoon. You'll have tomorrow morning to do all that, but choose right now to do the thing that you need to do to calm down, to chill out, to put a smile back on your face. Cause I don't know about y'all, but after the first half of the day, I'm usually like, whew. And even thinking about the second half of the day has me like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> it literally like, I'm like, I'm not doing it. So if I notice I'm a lot better off whenever I take that time to just chill, watch TV if I want to, do whatever I want, snack. If I want to sit and eat a whole bag of Oreos, a whole box, is it a box or a bag? I don't know, carton, a whole carton of Oreos. That's what I'm going to do. If it'll make me just feel better and have a little joy in my heart. I do whatever it takes, okay, religiously speaking. If I want to go pray, if I need to go pray or just have a cry fest, just let it all out to God, I'll do whatever it takes in that moment because that's my only time of quiet and you need to use that time as a time of rejuvenation, a time of refueling because the day is not over and witching hour is coming. <laughs> But this was a very short and sweet video, but that's all I really had for you guys today is just some tips on how to make nap time the best time for you. And when, if you're happy, if mama's happy, everybody's happy. Y'all know the saying, if mom ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. So just use this time when your kids are asleep or they are in their room reading, doing whatever, I don't care. They're being quiet. Do whatever you need to do to get yourself back to the level you need to be on to get the day done and over with. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Stay tuned. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you all next time.